Hello, my friends. Welcome to week one of Obsessed with Caddy and Christy. Um, this is our second sort of, um, not second series, but <laughs> our second round, I don't know, <laughs> of our Obsessed series. Um, one we did was with Maggie Holmes' Open Book, and now we are using Maggie Holmes' Shine. So um, basically, uh, Christy and I choose the same papers to use every week. Um, or every other week, which is when we'll be posting. So we chose four papers today, and it's that blue uh, polka dot paper, the green zebra, the cut apart with the months, and then the stripe. The stripe, I wasn't sure whether I was going to use the large one or the small one. Um, in this case, last time Christy had the 12 by 12 paper pad, and I had the 6 by 6 paper pad. For this series, we both have the 6x6 paper pad, and then we both have a bunch of random papers. So we don't have the same papers. So we choose our four or five papers based on the 6x6 paper pad. And then if we have any of the large ones for that specific sheet, then we can use them as well. So that's kind of going to be the little, the little mix uh, here. So this paper, I really wanted to use it, but I really didn't want to um, cut apart all of those cut aparts. <laughs> And, and just not be able to use them. So I just cut the one that I liked the least, I guess, and then I chose that strip. Now, we are following a sketch for this week. Uh, the sketch I did put uh, in the beginning of the video, uh, you can see the sketch there. Um, it's a sketch by Sketch and Scrap, um, which I am a member of the design team. So I'll make sure to put the link to Sketch and Scrap below so you guys can check out the awesome sketches that we have on there um, and that you guys can follow as well. Um, so, I am, we're using this uh, sketch and scrap um, sketch, and then the other challenges for this week is to use wood veneer. So we do have to use wood veneer some in some way, shape, or form. So this zebra paper was kind of my challenge <laughs> because it's zebra paper and you really, you know, it, it's kind of hard to use, but I figured with these colors, because they're very masculine colors, um, I figured I would do something about with my boys. So I grabbed this picture. This picture I just took on our vacation that we just came back from. We went to Utah. Um, and then I this picture was one of the ones we took. So I thought I'm going to use this picture um, and, uh, and we'll see how it goes. So yeah, so I'm just kind of lining up papers, kind of how the sketch is, is sort of um, laid out. And because um, and I am going to try to follow the sketch as best as I can. So that's what I'm doing. There's a strip at the bottom and the sketch, so I'm using that as well. Um, and then I'm just trying to figure out what else do I want to use, what other color. And then I think I'm going to bring in the pink. Um, I, there was this pink cut apart, which is that one. And then um, I'm going to cut apart the blue one, which is a blue heart, which I will also use. And then I think, uh, okay, I'm going to bring in the pink because it's a dark pink. And it kind of looks like red, <laughs> and I'm wearing a red sweater because this was taken on Christmas Day. So I thought, okay, green and pink will work <laughs> for a Christmas layout because, I mean, it's not really a Christmas layout, but it was taken on Christmas Day. Um, so I thought, hey, why not? We're going to make that work. <laughs> so I grabbed the pink, um, and that's going to be kind of my other color. And then I will bring in some yellow as well. So... Yeah, so I'm just trying to figure out here what I want to do. I take this little strip of blue, uh, which I had, and I'm going to use that at the bottom as well. Just a piece of blue to bring some of that blue down to the bottom. And I love that blue color. It's very pretty. So I'm going to bring that piece down to the bottom. Um, just kind of trying to spread the colors around just so that there's a little bit of each color you know, in each area of my layout, I guess. <laughs> and then what I thought to do... The sketch actually has three pictures on the bottom. And then what I thought I would do, because this is a winter, not really Christmas, but more of a winter layout, um, because you can see all the pretty mountains with the snow behind us, I thought I would uh, do the three months that are winter, so December, January, February. So that's what I'm putting at the bottom. Instead of three pictures, I could have very easily picked three pictures because I have a million pictures from my trip, but... Um, but uh, just for the sake of getting this done, and because we had to use that month's um, paper with the months on it, uh, the cut apart sheet, I thought that's perfect. I'm going to do a winter, and it's going to be my title is going to be something to do with winter. <laughs> so that's what I'm going with. 
I can't wait to see Christie's layout. Um, I wonder if she's using three photos at the bottom, like the sketch calls for. <laughs> so we'll see. Um, make sure you guys check out Christie's video when you're done watching mine. I'll have the link below so you guys can check her out. Um, can't wait to see what she does and, and if she used any of the bigger papers or, or whatnot. So <laughs> it's always fun for us to see each other's layouts because we do keep it a surprise from each other until the day uh, that we uh, uh, post the videos. So I'm excited for that. So right now I'm just looking at it and, and trying to figure out what else I want to do. So I take this ruler paper, this is from that ruler uh, cut apart sheet, and I glued it down and I realized that I had glued it down um, upside down. So I'm just fixing that just to add some yellow to bring in another color to my mix here. And then that little cut apart I'm going to place at the top, the pink one, and then the blue heart I am going to use. But I'm going to cut it out, I'm going to fussy cut the heart because it's so pretty and I love that blue color. So yeah, so I'm just messing with it, trying to see what I want to add. I grabbed my chipboard, um, 12 by 12 chipboard uh, pack, which I love this chipboard pack. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. I just want to stare at it all day because it's just so pretty. <laughs> Maggie Holmes, I mean, she's awesome, but this collection is just beautiful. So I'm just taking some thin cardboard that I, I uh, mentioned to you guys before I get it at work for free. So it's like chipboard, um, and then I'm just using that to pop up my photo just a little bit. That little banner, I will not end up using. It says follow your heart, but I will end up not using it. Um, I do place it on my layout, and then I remove it in the end because I just, I didn't, I don't know, I didn't think it really went. <laughs> so I'm taking this Moments, which I love this Moments word. I love the colors, um, and it has all the colors. So obviously, it's a collection, so <laughs> it all matches. But it has the blue, the pink, the yellow. So um, I thought that was perfect. And then I am going to uh, title my... I thought about using those word foam stickers. So I thought about titling Beautiful Moments. I think I was going to title it Beautiful Moments Together. So that was my original thought. <laughs> but it didn't really look... It didn't really look right to me. I mean, it doesn't look bad, but it just didn't, I don't know, it just didn't really look right to me. And then I thought about maybe changing the background instead of the white to something else, but I was like, mm, that's not what it needs. And then I realized what I need to add is some some, some type of um, mixed media, some type of color or uh, other element on this background. So that's what I'm gonna bring in a little bit of mist with the packaging technique. So you'll see me do that in just a minute. And after I place the winter down, and I wanted to keep the winter white just because um, symbolizing winter. <laughs> and it was a very white, white uh, winter <laughs> that we experienced in Utah. It was very beautiful. So um, this is when I decide, okay, I need to add something else to this. So I take my Heidi uh, Swap Color Shine, and I'm gonna take the mustard color. And I'm, I'm walking away to grab that. And I'm going to take mustard um, and I'm going to go ahead and just use the packaging technique to just spread a little bit. And I think after I um, I let it dry, I add a little bit more, which I don't do on camera. Just so that it goes all the way out to the left on top of the moments so that my, my title or my winter kind of sits on top of it. So um, there you go. I came back, I had dried it, and then I went ahead and just added a little bit more. I'm just getting my picture down and getting my winter down. And I immediately feel better about it. It just it kind of needed something else. So that's why I added that. And then that heart, I decided to cut it because um, I just liked it better as a, as a heart instead of as a, as a little square card. So just going to fussy cut out that heart. And I love that, that heart. It's like a geometric heart. It's not like a perfect heart. It's very, very pretty. So I do uh, use that. And then I do also uh, pop up the heart, I believe. Um, I thought about using this Let It Snow. Um, I got this at Michael's. Um, and it comes already painted in white. Um, and I thought about using it. But it was just, 
it was going to be too, too much. Um, just because the title is so big, it was just going to be too much. So I decided to not, uh, not go with that. So I take some of these snowflakes, which I have um, from Michael's, I believe they're Recollections, and they have the, the uh, metallic finish on the top, um, sort of in like a, like a um, silver pewter color. So they're really, really pretty. So I added those. And there's that little banner, which I will take off <laughs> in the end. It doesn't stay. Um, and then I take some smaller snowflakes, and I'm bringing in that wood veneer element that Christy and I have to use for this week. So that's going to be it. Other than that, I'm going to use some Heidi Shine in Black to do some splatters, and that's going to be it. And I'm just using a Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive to adhere down those little snowflakes. So yeah, so um, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Um, this is going to be video number one. Um, you're going to see my videos are going to go from 90 something to one just because I'm starting fresh in 2016. So this is actually the first video on my channel for 2016. So um, stay tuned because there's lots of stuff coming up. I have um, a few projects in mind and I have uh, my planner videos which I'm doing now as well. I'm going to finish December daily which will hopefully get done in January. <laughs> so definitely stay tuned for that. Make sure you guys check out Christy's video. I really can't wait to see what she's done. We both love this collection so we're both very excited to get started working with it. So make sure you guys check her out and um, and I'll have the link to her video below. Um, and um, and be, be sure to leave any comments or questions. We'd love, love to hear from you guys. Let us know what you guys think about our series and if you guys enjoy it and if there's anything you'd like to see us do. So we would love to know and we'd love to hear from you guys. So um, make sure to leave uh, any comments um, for me or for Christy. So once again, thank you for watching. I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.